the word defibrillator for today. We'll be trusting God for a word from within the word. Galatians 5. In this freedom, Christ has made us free and completely liberated us. Stand fast then and do not be hampered and held ensnared and submit again to a yoke of slavery, which you have once put off. Notice it is our Paul who tells you that if you receive circumcision, Christ will be of no profit advantage availed to you. For if you distrust him, you can gain nothing from him. Mm. Very, very good. Eh? So here we go, where it says, in this freedom, Christ has made us free. This is the freedom in Christ. We have deliverance from sin. We have deliverance from uh, past hurts. The old man is completely gone. We are new um, a person in Christ Jesus. And it's saying that you, you and I are free. He who the Son sets free is truly free indeed. He who the Son sets free is truly free indeed. And we are completely liberated. Liberated is from a place of bondage, of, a, of, of captivity. It's a quite a heavy place to be um, set free from. And uh, let's just see if we can actually see what it's going to say as far as that goes. But um, liberated is a, if you think about it, of people who need liberation. Um, it's people who are in bondage, they are captive, in captivity, they are oppressed, they are held back, they have lost their joy, lost their peace. Does it feel like that for you today? But you've got to remember, you have been set free and completely liberated. No restrictions whatsoever. Then it says, stand fast then and do not be hampered and held ensnared. Now, when it comes to standing fast, in um, the Old Testament, it says, take up your position, stand firm, and watch how the Lord your God will deliver you. It is not something that sits on your shoulders or on my shoulders, not something that you and I have to do to make it happen. It happens in Christ Jesus. It says, stand fast, be immovable. Don't go one step back from this. Stand fast. And sometimes when the wind is blowing really hard towards you, your whole angle and that has to, you have to lean into it. You have to lean into that trial. You have to lean into that storm as it passes by. And that's what we need to do. It says, do not be hampered and held in sned and submit again to a yoke of slavery, which once, which you have once put off. Now, I'm speaking to those who kind of given their life to Christ and maybe we call it backsliding. Maybe we've uh, walked away. Maybe we have given up. Let's, don't do it again. Stand firm. Push into the storm. I have this, this picture of, you know, this guy standing on the mountain. And I don't know if you've ever experienced it. You climb up a hill, you get to the top of the hill. It's nice and quiet. It's nice and placid. But as you get to the top and you want to look over into that vast expanse of this beautiful view, all of a sudden this massive wind which is blowing against the face of the rock that's coming up hits you full on in your face. And what do you do? You lean into it. You want to see what is there. You want to see this majestic view. And in order to see that, you have to lean into that wind. You have to lean into what's pushing you back. And yeah, it says, you are free, completely liberated. Just stand fast, stand fast, and do not be hampered. Don't let anything of past hold you in sned. And whatever you do, don't go back to slavery. Don't get caught up in that sin once again. That attitude, that behavior, that habit, that just stole that peace and joy, because you see, when it comes to peace and joy and patience, those are fruits of the Spirit. It's something that is already automatically within you because within you is the Holy Spirit. And sometimes I've got to look at my life and say, is that automatically what's coming out of me? Am I joyful? A person said to me yesterday that I'm so happy and I'm so joyful. And I said, well, you need to let your face know. Because there's no... Manifest, manifestation of your 
countenance being in full joy and happiness. How's it for you today? How's it for me? Father, I'm going to lean in. I pray this morning that all of us, Father, that we've been pushed back by these storms in our life and it keeps on coming at us and we feel like we're on our back foot and we're just about to stumble backwards. But Father, I'm going to stand firm. I'm going to lean forward. I'm going to lift my chin up high. Keep my head just a little bit tilted over into the wind so I can just see where I'm going, Father. But I'm going to focus step by step. Just stepping forward, taking a stand. Stepping forward, taking a stand. And I know, Father, that every moment it will blow past. And Father, I will be on my knees, flat on my face before you, celebrating with absolute joy the victory that I receive as a gift as I do salvation in Jesus Christ. I thank you for this in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you for your peace, your joy, your goodness for us, your grace, which is new every morning. I pray for physical manifestation for every single person who needs healing right now, Father, and for those that they are thinking. Anyone who's sitting in hospital fighting for their life, Father, people who have sickness or disease, Father, that are in a position of losing finances, needing finances, Father, I pray that you meet us where we're at as we stand firm on your promises, that you will supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen.